Hi, this is Neil Rutman. This short video is for Chi Chen Wu, who brought me out to be the guest recitalist and clinician at the WMTA this summer. So, Chi Chen, I hope you enjoy this video. The topic is how to play pianissimo more dependably. And before I illustrate with this very simple four note exercise, I'd like to point our minds to the tone spot of the piano key. This is also referred to as the aftertouch by piano technicians. Now, all pianists know about this, so it's nothing new. The point three quarters of the way down where there's a hitch or resistance in the mechanism. This is well named because as the tone spot, it is the point where the hammer is put up to the string. The exercise is a simple four note exercise of taking the piano key down to the tone spot without making sound and lifting it the fourth time slowly going through the tone spot to create pianissimo. Before I illustrate, I'll simply suggest to you that after the first three notes, the pianist has what I call key sense, a feeling for the weight or the point in which the piano makes a true pianissimo. So, let me illustrate. Down to the tone spot, no sound. Down to the tone spot. Down to the tone spot. And the fourth through the tone spot, making a pianissimo of any variety or color. That, that, or in between. My teacher at the Eastman School of Music, Cecile Genhardt, used to say that producing tone on the piano is like throwing a ball. You have to know how heavy the ball is and where you're going to throw it. This exercise is a great example of that concept. It can be taught to beginners, it can be used for more advanced students, it can also be modified according to your needs. A chord, Three notes can be used also, although it's more difficult because all three notes of the chord have to arrive at the tone spot simultaneously. I often practice passages of pianissimo only testing my ability to go to the tone spot without sound so that I'm able to control a true pianissimo after that. I hope you've enjoyed this. There are many variations. I'm very happy to hear any suggestions. Thank you.